Monday. Welcome to the vlog. So today is a little bit different than usual though. I am going out to get my hair cut this morning. My hair is a big mess. I'm kind of debating of getting bangs again. I had bangs before the wedding so I'm debating. Hmm, probably I am going to do it. I already you know, have some pictures of it on my phone to show to my stylist and then um but yeah the length i'm probably gonna take down an inch just so that you know it could grow out a little bit easier and i kind of like the short length right now i had a longer for the wedding just so that it's i have more options to style regular basis i, I think i do prefer the shorter haircut other than that i have um, returns for my h m uh clothes that didn't fit me well speaking of that i did h m haul last week if you haven't checked that out check that video out i'll make sure to link it below i did a little haul plus try on and i styled the pieces and to some outfits for you guys as well. Another goal for this week is I want to clean out my closet. I kind of had to wait because it was Chinese New Year and it was unlucky to clean anything out, but we're past that threshold. I think it's a good time. It's spring and I, I love spring cleaning and getting everything cleaned out. A lot of the consignment stores as well as then secondhand thrift stores like Buffalo Exchange are now open again so I can bring some of the pieces in and try to sell it there. I also have my Poshmark to sell so I divide them usually with pieces that to donate to bring to you know thrift stores uh, to see if they want it and then last but not least if the pieces are more on like a better condition and I feel like they're worth a little bit more I put it on my Poshmark. But yeah. All right, today's outfit, I'm wearing the H&M cardigan with the Skims bodysuit. Um, so straight leg jeans for the bag. I'm using this guy, my always go-to bucket bag. I can't, this one is just, I just, it's so easy. And for shoes, we have these, the Giavito Rossi's combat boots. I haven't really ever worn them other than once because we haven't really gone out. So for today, I thought I'll make a cute little combo. Off we go. Haircut time. Are you ready for your haircut? Just got back home, got the, got my bangs. Very light, it's not heavy, kind of like a sweep to the side. I am going to wash my hair right now because we didn't get to rinse it before um, we left and also like style it a little bit better. It's a little bit, it's still like tied up and a little bit messy, but I'm happy to have my bangs back. All right. Let's go wash up and change into some home clothes so I can finish up some work. Got my hair all washed and restyled it a bit. Just like gave it a little bit more volume because my hair usually, my hair is naturally super straight and my hair texture is really fine. So I usually, when it comes to short hair like this, I like to give it a little bit more volume for a product. I usually, when my hair is wet, I spray it down with this and that way it gives it that, like a little bit of a texture and also kind of makes it more, um, a little bit of a, beach wave then once i'm done drying the hair i go in with this one 
for a clay. I really like this molding clay. It's not very sticky. It doesn't feel like I have anything in my hair. It doesn't look like I have any in my hair, but what it does, it helps like smooth out any like peach fuzz or like baby hair or anything that's like on top here because of um, this one, it does get a little fuzzy, but um, yeah, so that's how I style my short hair. Yeah? Hi! Ooh! What's up? Ooh! Yeah? <laughs> Hello! And it is now already Wednesday. We kind of skipped the day. Work took over. It's been a kind of a crazy week. I work in the fashion industry and because of Chinese New Year, a lot of the vendors were off but they are now fully back so there was a lot of things to catch up on and follow up on and i kind of spent yesterday the full day working and in vlog because it wasn't there wasn't that much going on <laughs> but yeah so today it's wednesday already i kind of got ready in the morning but i'm still kind of in my robe and pjs just because you know kind of wanted that comfortable vibe in the morning and that's the benefit from working from home i can kind of stay in my comfy clothes and i did a lot of most of my emails and all that stuff already to and put that to the side i'm gonna right now uh change to work out i'm gonna do some yoga for today i've been having some a little bit of uh soreness in the neck i think it's due to a computer and also using my phone there's this one yoga flow on the glow app and i'll make sure to pop it up here this class is so amazing like if you sit at the desk and you get a lot of neck pains and back pains and shoulder like this area um, i highly highly recommend trying out this class i believe they have like a trial run um that that you can do and that's how i started with the app and i've been going back to this class several times already i feel like when i do it at once at least like maybe once a week it really helps de-stresses the areas that really hurts especially from sitting at the desk for too long so that's what i'm gonna do and then after that we're gonna have lunch and then after lunch we're gonna go through the closet and all set up, ready to go. I use my office for yoga too. I bought this on Amazon. It can, you know, twist to different forms. So I can use it like this, or I can hang it off my neck and use it on the bed without having to like strain my arms holding my phone at night. So I'll make sure to link this guy below. So the app, it's called Glow and I'm gonna go to, you can save your classes, favorites, and this is not this guy. So this is the class that I'm gonna take today and it's gonna help release some neck pain. <music> closet and we're gonna get going with the cleaning i'm gonna start moving some of the items out to the bedroom and then we're gonna sort through it let's get this process going <music> side as you can see it's already a lot I don't want to overwhelm the um, overwhelm myself so I'm gonna go through this step first and then move on to another section afterwards These are the keys. 
keeps. And then I have a cat. <laughs> he's a keeper, but he's laying on my um, pile of either donate or, you know, I haven't sorted that out yet, but I'm just putting everything I don't want on the floor for now. And now before moving on, I'm gonna put these guys back in the closet first so I have space for the next group. took these guys out because these were in storage. Kind of need to go through them to see what I need to keep or donate. And here I added a little bit more to the donate pile as well. Okay, I finished with the group. So these guys I'm going to put back in the closet. This bag are stuff that's already on my Poshmark. These are just some old clothes that I want to keep. I wouldn't say old clothes, but they have memory to them. So I don't want to toss them, but I don't want to wear them right now. So I just keep it in the bag. This pile I'm going to bring to the secondhand store, thrift store, to see if they want it. Fairly decent pieces. I went with more seasonal pieces that's appropriate for right now because like stores like Buffalo Exchange, they usually will be more likely to take the item if it's in season. And then this I need to fold up, but these are the stuff that I'm going to try to push on, put on my Poshmark. It's actually a much smaller pile than I thought it would be to begin with. So it's actually not too bad. I'm actually glad that I don't have that many pieces to take pictures of. And that is it for this week's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the closet cleaning got you motivated as well. It definitely got my husband motivated. He cleaned out his closet right after I finished mine. So give that a go. And other than that, I wish everybody a great week ahead. I will see you guys in the next video.